yes, you read the title. And so this is my last video on the MacBook for now. But after the intro, I will explain you why I did return this laptop. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's always me, Johnny. And as you read from the title, today we are gonna talk about the MacBook Pro that I had for a few months now, but I decided to return it for mostly uh, three main reasons. And in this video, I want to explain to you these reasons and maybe if you bought a MacBook like me and maybe you did the same as me. So this one will be a short video because I just wanna tell you my MacBook uh, experience for now. And so this basically explains how I found myself uh, using Mac all these months and I want to explain to you maybe some difficulties that I'm that I found on Mac OS. First reason why I did return the MacBook Pro and Apple fans or Apple lovers just don't hate me but I don't love that much uh, Mac OS. I mean it's a cool system. I found it very easy to use, very handy in many situations, very fast, very responsive and some other positive things, but I'm just too used on Windows. I just love the open mind of Windows, if we can say that. And so I love all the customization that you can do maybe on Windows and maybe not on the Mac OS. And yes, I know that I've used this Mac for just maybe uh, too short of time, but I didn't feel that was my operating system, you know, like all the ecosystem of Apple. I don't have any iPhone. I don't have anything else from Apple. And so I found that the Mac OS itself, it's good, as I said, but it's not perfect for me. So it's not like suited for me. I mean, with Windows, I can just edit all my preferences like I want. And so it feels like more mine of a system, you know. I don't know if any of these things that I'm saying uh, make sense some somehow, but hope it does. <laughs> and so, as I was saying, I found that uh, most of the things are just easy to use and just at uh, their place, you know. On Windows, maybe you have to search for something. Maybe they just hide stuff in Windows. But for me, I found myself better in that system. I'm just too used to use actually a more difficult system, if we can call that, and a just less intuitive system, we can say. And so that's why I didn't find myself at home, we can say, with Mac OS. Also, I can add to this that uh, the MacBook Pro with the M1 chip was a new machine. It's still a new machine. They have to optimize all the apps. You can run in some issue. I mean, the laptop is very, very good, but it's still not perfect. So it does need some updates. And so we have to give time to all the developers to actually develop some apps, some optimized apps for uh, that chip. And so that was one more thing to add at the macOS system that I didn't like. And so the second reason of why I did return this Mac, it was actually very simple because it's actually the size. So that was a 13 inch laptop. And I mean, it's pretty good for uh, portable stuff. If you are working maybe in the office or maybe doing just office work, like uh, you use like the office package or maybe you just write something or just web browsing i mean it's pretty good you can work on that maybe if you are working some hours a day but uh for my usage it's actually too small i mean i liked the fact that it was that small and that thin and that portable as i said but actually when you work on a 13 inch laptop all day you can feel your eyes strain i mean you force your eyes to watch this little screen all these hours and i think it's not uh it's not great and so there was like a little bit a deal breaker for me because yes when i was at home you can just connect it to an external monitor i have two monitors right here that are big enough but i buy a laptop just to use it for a laptop usage you know if i have a laptop i'm just using it when i'm not at my desk of course if we are talking about 
also photo editing and video editing. You know that especially for video editing, I use Premiere Pro, as you may know, if you watch all my videos or any other videos on my channel. So with Premiere Pro, if you have like more screen estate, just if you have multiple monitors or if you have just more space on your screen, if you have just a bigger monitor, like 34 inches monitor or maybe 27 like I have right here. So I did found myself like constricted to this uh, 13 inch monitor that is like too small to work on Premiere Pro for me. I mean, if you have to do like a fast work, maybe as I said, when you are not at home or maybe at office and you are around, you have to do like a fast edit just without any special effect or stuff like that. It's very useful because it can do that because it actually has the performance, the power to do that. But if you are working on just a major project or maybe just a big project, you can feel the strain in your eyes and this is not good for me and I guess for everyone. And so the third reason, talking about editing videos on Premiere Pro and also other apps, is just a combination of these two because the thing is that they haven't yet, all the application that I use, uh, they haven't optimized yet for uh, the M1 chip and so maybe sometimes you have some problems and also I did try some betas like for a Premiere Pro, I did try the beta, but I had some major problems, like some simple problems that I couldn't edit well my videos. And so I think this is the most important thing for me because I mostly use my laptop to just, yes, write something for my videos. And I just use that more for editing videos. As I said before, yes, it has the power, it has the performance if you are doing like simple edits like this YouTube videos. But if I have also some issues on these simple videos, uh, that is a deal breaker for me. And so I can't have like a laptop and also a desktop PC. And I just have to keep going from one to another because maybe something is not working on the laptop. And so I have to take my project on the desktop PC. And so this became a very stressful process that I don't like because it just slowed down my workflow and I don't like that. And so that was the final reason for me. And I've waited all these months because I was waiting for updates and they did some updates actually for some apps that I use, but not some major updates, as you may know, if you watch all my videos on the Mac. And so that left me without any choice. I mean, the only choice was to return that MacBook because of course, it's not a free product because I paid that laptop with my money. And so if I spend all the money on a laptop that is worth more than my desktop PC, but it gives me all this problem. I mean, that is not a very convenient thing, isn't it? So I will end this video here. That was just my two cents on my macOS experience and in specific my M1 chip experience, we can say. And if you had the same issues as me, if you did return your MacBook or maybe your Mac mini or stuff like that with M1 chip, just leave me a comment right down below so we can talk more about that. And as always, thank you for watching this video and leave a like if you liked it. Hope to see new big changes with the new Apple chip. We will see that of course on this channel. So subscribe right now if you haven't already because it will help this channel very much. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.